Having just driven the new Vul 05, I can confirm without a doubt that Mexican sports cars, viewers of Top Gear, are not lazy and most definitely not feckless. They're a lot of fun. And they are not fractured! And it's most definitely not overweight. This car weighs about 700 kilos, which is pretty much half your average family hatchback like this Audi A3 here. Not bad, eh? All is not as it appears with the fuel because although it's made in Mexico, and while the lovely bodywork and the extruded aluminium chassis are all built in Mexico, a lot of the stuff is made in the UK, which makes this a bit of a Brit-Mex mashup. We've got dampers from the UK behind here in the suspension, beautiful carbon fiber seats. They're from the UK by a company called Tillit. And then down here, we've got clutch, engine, and gearbox, all from Ford, the EcoBoost two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. So it's a bit of a mashup, but it is a good one. It's been simply finished. It's not flash, it's not expensive feeling, but it feels as though it's built for the job. You've got these figure hugging sports seats, you've got a removable racing steering wheel. There's an option, if you've got real attention to detail, you can go for this option. These are titanium bolts and they save you, throughout the use on the car, four and a half kilos. You can go for body panels made out of carbon fiber. There's a video camera up here to record your track days. So they try to think of everything. I think the only thing at the moment this prototype is missing is a rear view mirror or camera of some description. You've only got the little sort of Formula One style wing mirrors. And there's a few little finishing details that I think uh, with the production cars we'll see. So it needs a clutch rest. I want to brace myself when I'm going through the corners and some padding down here for your, against your knee would be great. But otherwise, it's a really nicely made thing. Basically, the Vuel is good fun. It's not intimidating. The noise from this air intake is crazy. The gear change is quite nice. Uh, the brakes could do with a bit more bite. The pedal could do with a bit more bite. The car is really fast, unsurprisingly really fast. And the handling is friendly to a point. There's understeer to start with, but you have got over 60% of the weight behind you. So if you lift off, this car will rotate. It will spin, so you have to control that with a little bit of corrective steering. But that's good fun, you know, it's telling you that it's going to do it. Basically, it's quite a friendly thing. For the first time effort, I've got to say, it's impressive. 